Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. I want to talk about the stocks that I will be looking at over the coming week. These are daily candlestick charts provided by finviz.com. And the first one I want to look at for next week is Amazon stock, AMZN. This is a textbook example of how a former support line, in this case 105, can become resistance when a stock breaks below it. Okay, Look how many data points here for 105 as support bounced off of it here 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 and even here but not here broke down below it and then it tried to get above 105 so what was support is now resistance couldn't get above it broke down more down to 91 or so I'm staying out of the way because it's looking a little bit dangerous here I want to see it show me some more constructive price action maybe going sideways maybe even curling up a bit before I get involved with Amazon stock possibly Tesla TSLA stock holding that resistance. Lots of data points here for $210 on Tesla stock. One, two, three, four, at least five uh, data points showing that this is in fact resistance at 210. Holding it, but just barely. I want to see how it behaves next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday especially. That'll be crucial for Tesla stock before I make any decisions on that. Kellogg K stock. And this has a defined channel if I've ever seen one. That's textbook right there. Support at 70. How many data points? One, two, three, four, five at least. So 70 is looking pretty strong. Still holding it on Friday. Be aware there is re uh, resistance, a double top at 77. So that may be a place to take partial or even full profits if you want to trade conservatively. Intel stock, INTC. This really narrow, tight falling channel has been in effect for a long time. Trying to break above it, it's contained and constrained. Uh, within that channel though. You know, it, it has had resistance there over here and over here. Just can't get above it, but I'll tell you, if it breaks above it in a firm, decisive, high volume manner, boy, this could be explosive. Uh, first resistance here is at 45, major resistance there for Intel stock, potentially. Starbucks stock, SBUX, holding this support level, rising support level. I like it. Held it here, here and a whole bunch of times over here and then popped boom right up eight and a half percent on Friday now at resistance though so we're gonna be careful okay uh, that ninety two dollar resistance so this just goes to show when something just keeps on holding a rising support level holding it holding it you never know what might happen okay so now we gotta watch for resistance don't get too greedy here okay folks Starbucks stock plug power PLUG so we have support here. Seems to be holding that $14 support level. We have a few data points back here. Will it get there again? It's not far. Closed on Friday. A little bit closer to 15 than 14, but it could land at 14 gently. That would be encouraging because the last time it came, last couple times it came down to 14, had some nice pops there, some rips before it dipped. So something to think about. Uh, CRM, which is Salesforce stock. Uh, it's holding this support level, but here's the difference. When you look back here, Starbucks stock holding a rising support level. Salesforce CRM stock holding a support level, but it's falling. And that's the difference. Not quite as encouraging, but still holding it though. Like the way it bounced off of it on Friday. Uh, talking about 140 or so. Yeah, it's a pretty good price for Salesforce stock, but I really want to see it bounce. I want something decisive, not just kind of a limp, you know, yeah, it held it, but mm, don't know which way it's going to go. Looks like the trading community is still deciding what to do with CRM, Salesforce stock. And then finally, Eric. Uh, Ericsson, which is a 5G international type of stock. Uh, falling channel, okay, a narrow falling channel. I see that. Holding 550 pretty well. You could have drawn, Finviz, I could have drawn a support level here at 550 or so. Uh, I'd love it at $5. I like it at 550. Not too bad. But it's in a falling channel. That's just something to be aware of. And there is definitely resistance, I would say, at 750. Was support? Again, there's a running theme here. Became resistance once it broke below. Couldn't get above it, couldn't get above it, and just broke down hard. So I'd love to see this break out of this channel, but yeah. It's a pretty good price, though. Not too bad. If I had to pick one that I like the most, I mean, it, of course, I like Intel. Uh, if you're into chip makers, why wouldn't you? But I'm going to watch it. I want to see if it breaks above this. Uh, 
believe it or not, Tesla. Just at the technicals, looking at the technicals only, this support level is so strong, and it's right there. Um, yeah, looking good. It, it's possible if you want to to just buy a little bit, but also watch it, see how it behaves Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You got to make your own decisions. Do your own due diligence. Don't do something just because somebody in a video says so. Okay, and always be careful out there. Have an exit strategy, and let's see what happens next week. It's going to be exciting. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. I will talk to you again soon.